You have been diagnosed with uveitis, an eye inflammation. But what does that actually mean? What causes uveitis? What symptoms can you expect? What can be done about it? Uveitis is an inflammation inside the eye. It can be caused by bacteria or a virus that has got into the eye. The body's immune system then tries to attack the intruder. This can leave you with a painfully red eye and it can damage your eyesight. Other symptoms include blurred vision and seeing black or white spots. But in many cases, it's not caused by bacteria or any other infectious intruder. Then it's called non-infectious uveitis. Doctors and researchers don't really understand why this happens, but they think it's the immune system making a mistake. Normally, any intruder is attacked by several parts of the immune system, such as the white blood cells. But sometimes there's a false alarm and the immune system mistakes its own body tissue for an intruder that must be fought. This results in inflammation. There are several forms of uveitis, depending on the exact site of the inflammation inside the eye. Uveitis anterior affects the front part of the eye, intermediate uveitis affects the middle, and uveitis posterior happens at the back. With panuveitis, the whole eye is inflamed. Leaving uveitis untreated can lead to serious consequences, such as bad eyesight, and in some cases, even blindness. Another serious consequence is macular edema, where the back of the eye swells with fluid. This can blur the center of your visual field, the part that's essential for straight ahead vision. There are many different treatments for the different kinds of uveitis. Anti-inflammatory eye drops, for instance, and drugs like prednisone, which inhibit the immune system. This, however, can leave the body vulnerable to other infections. Uveitis can improve over time and even disappear completely, but there are no guarantees. Unfortunately, as a patient, there is little you can do further than following the prescribed treatment. There is no indication that eating or avoiding particular foods can make any difference to uveitis. Even living a healthy and stress-free life, while always a good idea, has no proven effect on uveitis. Scientists at various hospitals and research institutions are trying to discover more about the causes and potential treatments of uveitis, preferably tailor-made for the patients, so that it can be fought more effectively in the future. If you would like to learn more about uveitis, the treatments or the scientific research, you can find out via these websites.